Hey everyone, welcome to Neil Talks. My name's Neil and it's time to talk Avatar The Last Airbender. It's been a crazy last month on the channel, so I think it's actually been like three, week, three weeks since I've been able to actually sit down and watch some Avatar. So I'm excited to jump back into this. I've been, uh, yeah, so busy with random new shows and wrapping things up and trying to get movies ready for Halloween and all sorts of stuff but anyway it's avatar time and i'm excited to jump back in but what do i remember from last episode we we got a potential new member to the team this uh this blind girl whose name i'm blanking on because it's been a few weeks she comes from a rich family ultra protective mostly because she's blind but she's secretly a tournament fighter and she uh, she competes for big purses and and kicks everybody's butt because she's a master earthbender and she's exactly what we need right now for the team so it'll be really interesting to see how we incorporate her into the team uh what the new dynamics are going to be you know we've got a very um comfortable situation with ang and katara and sokka at the moment and throwing in a fourth member will do all sorts of things to stir things up and make things uncomfortable and create new dynamics and it'll just be really interesting to see what develops. I have no idea where it may go but but the possibilities are many. We also saw Zuko and Iroh go their separate ways. Iroh seems quite content just laying low pretending to be um, a poor civilian living in a an earth bending town in an earth town and being patient but but zuko is not like that he sort of turned to banditry and now he's striking out on his own what he like, he he clearly has a great deal of resentment still for the avatar but i'm not sure if his goal is to pursue the avatar necessarily or what but yeah, it'll be interesting to see where Zuko takes himself in the coming episodes. And of course, we've got Zuko's sister, Azula, with her new team. We've got these three women, uh, these three young women who went to school together that Azula have, has put together. And they're, they've got a dual goal now. First, to capture Zuko and Iroh. And second, to, to capture the Avatar as well. So... We haven't seen them for a, a smidge. Maybe we're going to see them again this episode. In any case, I'm ready to jump into it. I know the title of this episode. I wish there was a way to watch Netflix without seeing the titles and the thumbnails, but there's just no way unless I had more people. But I'm a one-man army here, so I can't avoid them. This is episode 7 from season 2, and it's called Zuko Alone. Previously on Avatar. Please, Father! I only have the Fire Nation's best interest at heart. You will learn respect, and suffering will be your teacher. I love how we've never seen Ozai clearly. He's always been from behind or fully in shadow. Zuko alone. This is this going to be an entirely Zuko episode? That's kind of cool if it is. Oh. No one ever crosses a rickety rope bridge without incident in story. We saw the Earthbenders using those big discs with the square middles in battle against Aang. Interesting that there's a whole field of them. Oh. Is it May that's with Azula that used to have a thing? With Zuko? Come on, spider snake eyes. <laughs> nope. Yeah. Two fives is spider snake eyes? Okay. Not enough here for a hot meal. I can get you two bags of feed. <laughs> Time to gamble. Ow! Well, it's a waste of a good egg. You throwing eggs at us, stranger? No. You see who did throw it? No. You better leave town. Penalty for staying's a lot steeper than you can afford, stranger. Trust me. Earth Army? Those but they don't look are like supposed to protect us from the Fire Nation. Benders. They're just a bunch of thugs. Yeah. Thanks for not ratting me out. 
I'll take you to my house and feed your ostrich horse for you. Come on, I owe you. All right. Cute kid. But you a friend of Lee's? A, a pig, pig chicken. A pickin? Or a chig? Those men should be ashamed to wear Earth Kingdom uniforms. The real soldiers are off fighting the war. Like Lee's big brother, Sen Su. Would you like to stay? I should be moving on. Gonsu could use some help on the barn. Why don't you two work for a while, and then we'll eat. Okay. No charity. We'll put him to work. Oh, uh, Zuko. You don't seem like you're from around here. Mm -mm. Not, not a lot of hammering experience. Stop asking the man personal questions, got it? Yes. So how'd you get that scar? Oh. oh. A man's past is his business. I bet he's got a past too. He even hammers nails angrily. Duck turtles, seriously? Turkles? Hey, mom, want to see how Azula feeds turtle ducks? Zuko, why would you do that? Ow! 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 His mother. That's what moms are like. If you mess with their babies, hum, they're gonna <laughs> bite you back. Azula's a bully, but we knew that. Oh, May. Watch this. <laughs> I don't want to play with you. It's important for us to spend time together. Don't you think so, Mom? <laughs> See, I told you it would work. Girls are crazy. Ba Sing Se must be something to behold. We haven't seen I it yet, you have we? all may see it someday. For Zuko, a pearl dagger from the general who surrendered when we broke through the outer wall. Note the inscription and the superior craftsmanship. Never give up without a fight. That's what he and cut his hair with. Azula, a new friend, Earth yeah. Kingdom girls. If Uncle doesn't make it back from war, then Dad would be next in line to be Fire Lord, wouldn't he? How would you like it if Cousin Lu Ten wanted so, Dad to so die? How I still think our dad would make a much better Fire Lord than his royal tea-loving kookiness. So how did Iroh not become Fire Lord if he was set to inherit it before Ozai? Huh. Okay, that's interesting. What did the kid take? The dagger? Oh no, the, the swords. The blue spirit swords. You're holding them all wrong. Don't think of them as separate, because they're not. They're just two different parts of the same whole. I think you'd really like my brother Sen Su. He used to show me stuff like this all the time. Oh? What do you think they want? Trouble. The local army? But really just thugs? Just thought someone ought to tell you your son's battalion got captured. You watch your mouth! Yeah. Just bullies. Your cousin, Luten, did not survive the battle. What's gonna happen to my brother? I'm going to the front. I'm going to find Sensu and bring him back. Here. I want you to have this. Oh, the Read dagger. The Made in Earth Kingdom. The other one. Never give up without a fight. Ah! Oh! You waste all your time playing with knives. You're not even good. Put an apple on your head and we'll find out how good I am. A real general would stay and burn Ba Sing Se to the ground, not lose the battle and come home crying. Your father has requested an audience with Fire Lord Azulon. Best clothes, hurry up. He's not exactly the powerful Fire Lord he used to be. Someone will probably end up taking his place soon. What is wrong with that child? What is wrong with her? Azula's very one note so far. A true prodigy. You'll never catch up. I'd like to demonstrate what I've been learning. Ugh. I failed. No, 
That's who you are, Zuko. Someone who keeps fighting even though it's hard. Father, you must have realized, as I have, that with Lu Ten gone, Iroh's bloodline has ended. Say what it is you want. Father, revoke Iroh's birthright. Name here. I am your humble servant. You dare suggest I betray Iroh? My firstborn? Iroh has suffered enough. But you? Your punishment has scarcely begun! Grandfather said Dad's punishment should fit his crime. You must know the pain of losing a firstborn son by sacrificing your own. Oh. Liar. Maybe you could find a nice Earth Kingdom family to adopt you. So that's why Stop Ozai it. did it? You're lying. Azula always lies. Azula always lies. Yeah. They took him away. They told me if he's old enough to fight, he's old enough to join the army. I know we barely know you, but... <laughs> I'll get your son back. I told you he'd come! You're not soldiers. You're bullies. Freeloaders abusing your power. Didn't even unsheath. In a fire bend. Remember this, Zuko. No matter how things may seem to change, never forget who you are. What happened to Mom? <laughs> Here comes the fire. My name is Zuko. Prince of the Fire Nation and heir to the throne. Liar! I heard of you. You're not a prince, you're an outcast. Not a step closer. It's yours. You should have it. No, I hate you. Yeah. Fire Kingdom killed his brother. Or captured his brother, at least. Now Dad's gone to fight the war, too. Oh. And last night, Grandpa passed away. You're sick. And I want my knife back. Now. <gasps> Who's going to make me? Mom? As was your dying wish, you are now succeeded by your second son. We still don't see Ozai's face. Was that his dying wish? Wow. Awesome episode, and I think it's the very first episode we've had without any Aang or Katara or Sokka. So that's really interesting. We get instead we get all this flashback of young Zuko and young Azula while their grandfather was still alive. I never knew that Iroh was in line to inherit the, the throne of the Fire Lord, but it was his defeat at Ba Sing Se and the loss of his son that maybe persuaded Fire Lord Azulon to pass it on to his son, and maybe not, and yet... <laughs> The last we saw of Azulon and Ozai together, Azulon wanted to punish, punish Ozai for suggesting that he deserves Iroh's birthright. So who actually witnessed Azulon saying, I want Ozai to take over? And what more does Azula know? Because she's the one that actually tells us that, that, uh, Azulon told Ozai his punishment would be that he has to lose a son. And this is maybe why Ozai banishes Zuko. Because that's his punishment. 
and he he honored that punishment even after his father died. Azulus, a little bit psychotic. Um, I, I, I said early on that she seems very one note, and it's just reinforced now. Even um, as a child, she she was a bully to her friends. Uh, she was certainly a a bully to her brother. Yes, she was a firebending prodigy from everything we've seen. Everything came easy to her as opposed to Zuko who's had to fight for everything he's got. Um, he was a bit of a mama's boy, nothing wrong with that, but he didn't have these natural gifts that his sister did. Um, or perhaps the ambition that she has. Um, the more I learn about her, the more frightening a, an antagonist she becomes, but she's not become an interesting one yet, if that makes any sense. Like, when we first met Zuko back in Season 1, he he was pretty one-note. He was hell-bent on capturing the Avatar. And then we start learning why. And it's not just because that's his task, it's because the Avatar is his only hope of being able to return home. And then we start spending more time with Zuko, and we learn more about him and what motivates him. But I haven't seen any... You know, we, we learn about him standing up to his father and then having to duel his father and how he got his scar and all of this stuff that sort of made Zuko who he is when we first meet him. Azula, it would appear, has always been like this. She was born that way. Either Even her mother says, what is wrong with this child? She's just a, a very... She's a bully. Just like the bullies Zuko just stood up to in this, this, uh, this earth town. But it's clear Zuko is still haunted by those events of his childhood. You know, he, he, he fears his sister. Um, he's haunted by her. He, what happened to his mother exactly? Like, she disappeared. Did she leave? Did she not want to be married to the, the Fire Lord? So when Ozai was going to become Fire Lord, she decided she needed to leave? Or did Ozai dispose of her somehow or or what i don't know i feel like we're going to meet mom again in present day but i might be completely wrong iroh all we got of him was his letters that he was sending from the front from ba sing se in this episode and yet he seemed like i, I feel like even now we learn more about him and yeah, he probably was a broken man. He'd lost his son in the battle that he was waging. He lost being heir. You, you feel like if Iroh had inherited the title of Fire Lord when Azulon passed, the war may have ended. Obviously, Ozai didn't want that. Ozai is very much like his daughter, it would appear. But... But I find it very interesting that they're still not showing us Ozai. They're showing us, they're never showing us his whole face. You know, early on, it was in the back of the head, or it was um, fully in silhouette. Now, you know, we're, we're teasing. We, we only see the mouth, or we only see the forehead, or, again, just from behind, these sorts of things. But... We learn more about Zuko's dagger. It's cool that Iroh sent it to him from the front. It's actually from an earthbending general who surrendered to to Iroh. It's the it's the dagger that Zuko used to cut off his um, his ponytail um, at the start of season two, and now he's given it to back to to the Earth Kingdom to this this young kid who's lost his. Probably lost his brother, maybe lost his dad. Yeah, really interesting episode. I'm, I'm loving what they're doing. Zuko, I'm not saying I'm a fan, but I'm super interested in the character. I don't, I mean, he's still, the, he's still an antagonist. He's still a, well, maybe he's more of a wild card this season. Maybe he's just on his own journey. Maybe he's not going to cross paths again with Aang for a while. Maybe by the time they do cross paths, Zuko is going to be in a place where he may actually ally with with our team, but maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe that that's a bridge too far. But it's an interesting idea, and I would love. I mean, I'm 
sign me up for more up give me give me the zuko spin-off series like the the um, you know let, let him wander wander the world like uh, kane in kung fu why not you know have these random villages uh, random encounters and villages here and there and everywhere or out in the woods or wherever it may be you know just uh, give me more zuko he's a really fascinating character a bit of an anti-hero but but sympathetic because we're learning why he is the way he is and we we see his internal struggles and he was a sweet kid until a lot of bad shit happened and he realized all those sweet parts of his personality were just getting him in trouble standing up for the little guy is what got him banished from the fire kingdom not being ambitious is what got him picked on by his sister so he suppresses all of that stuff the harder he is the more ambitious he is the more focused he is he feels the safer he'll be i dig it i really really dig it and i'm looking forward to more i uh i know we won't get a lot of these sorts of episodes but anytime we get one very very cool i'm thrilled i'd love to hear what you guys have to think I know everyone has been like so excited for me to get deep into season two, and I'm really enjoying the ride. Uh, it's just a really cool, fun series, and yeah, it puts a smile on my face. It's really lovely, brilliant storytelling. Can't wait for more. Can't wait for next week. Until then, everybody, take care, stay healthy. We'll see you soon. Cheers.